Right, morning chaps. Progress has been made. The Land Rover is nearly finished. The uh, wide body, I'm um, sure you'll be pleased. I know I am. I have now fitted uh, the rear tub, the bulkhead in the front panel. So that's seven bolts, seven bolts up to press. So I reckon another, I don't know, 200 and uh, it'll be finished so yeah all good so i'll do a little spinner route as you can see the uh, the story so far bear in mind that being a gopro this is it's wide angle so uh, it exaggerates the width of the vehicle just a lot so okay spinner route time so here she is Rear body bolted on and widened as per uh, where? Where? six inch. So two bolts, they were the first two bolts I used. There's a good few more to go in there. Oh, there's loads, there's a few across the back and elsewhere. But it's bolted on. So I. Uh, Widen bulkhead, as you can see, if you stand back at that angle. It's the same width as a vehicle. Or as the tub. So, bolted on again. One bolt and one at the other side, making two. So that's four altogether. Four. Although it is sort of clamped to the uh, steering column quite tightly. No, I've left the bolts loose on, on the uh, the mountain down there, so, yep. 200 TDI from a Discovery, and here's my widened front panel. As you can see, it extends beyond the chassis, whereas the original didn't, so, yep. So, pair of doors there. Don't know where I got them from, but crackers, they're uh, utes. Some side steps as well. Don't know where they came from. A pair of defender seats there. There's the grill that's going to go on the front. That'll look beautiful once that's on the front. I'll, uh, I'll just give you. Yeah. Beautiful. Barely tell it's widened, but that's where it's going to go. So, got to modify the turbo downpipe because. It was a bit, uh, it was too close to the bulkhead, so I've got to, I've got to make a, a downpipe, so. And I have um, issues with, that's the issues. Uh, I don't know what this gearbox is from. It bolts up. It says Land Rover, so we know it's a Land Rover. But it doesn't have, um, Diff lock. It may have electronic diff lock because there's a solenoid there. And I think that must be for. It's got to be for. I don't know. Somebody out there could tell me that'd be nice. In the comments, I've also got to lower this slightly because I think. I'm not sure. I might have mounted it a little high. It seems to be um, just a touch high. And then there's the safari roof, which is to go on. So, yeah, it's all good. Like I said, nearly finished. <coughs> Except, uh, I've got things to do. So it's only taken, I think it's taken, uh, I don't know, not so long really to get to this point. Four years, maybe. Four years, three and three quarters of procrastinating. And then the uh, couple of months of actual work. It took a took a week to modify the bulkhead. It took a week. I think it took. I didn't take a week to do the the rear tub, but yeah, all good fun. So um, just thought I'd give you a quick update so as you know where we are. Um, but I'm going to Portugal next week. So if anybody out there has got any uh, properties they'd like to have a likes me to go and have a quick butcher's it. 
um, I'll go and have a look. If, uh, yeah, message me or um, call me on the numbers that's provided in the videos. There's a phone number on the back of my car, so have a look at that. Anyway, that's it so far. Over and out. See you in the next. Oh, don't forget, subscribe and like. And uh, any comments would be um, gratefully accepted. Thank you.